Hello everyone, my name is Sarvesh Murugui. I am studying in 10th grade and I made a pinhole camera. I made it using black chart paper, black cellophane tape, butter paper and a scissor. First I made two hollow cylinders using black chart paper such that one was bigger than the other in a way such that the smaller one will slide inside the bigger one. Then I covered one end of the big cylinder with black tape and one end of my small cylinder with butter paper. After that I slided the small cylinder into the big cylinder and also made a small hole on the black tape that was covering the top of my big cylinder using a pin. So this is how I made my pinhole camera. So this is my pinhole camera and the hole I made is right here. So when we want to see an object like this cap, what happens is that the light from the top part of the cap travels into the hole in a straight line due to the rectilinear propagation of light and it will lie on the butter paper, bottom of the butter paper that's in the pinhole camera and the light on the bottom part of the cap will also go in a straight line and intersect the previous light ray in the hole and it will finally lie on the butter paper on the top. So this, so what happens is an inverted image is formed. This same principle is also happening in our eye. That is why this inverted image will become an erect image. And this erect image again becomes an inverted image in our brain. This is why we see an inverted image on the butter paper which acts as a screen for the image we see when using a pinhole camera. Also, since my pinhole camera is adjustable since I made a small smaller cylinder that can slide through this cylinder, I can adjust the magnification of its image. Now let's see how this looks. As you can see, the shorter tube is at the bottom and the longer tube is at the top. But in a pinhole camera, the shorter tube line must be at the top and the longer tube line must be at the bottom. As you can see, the shorter tube light is at the top and the longer tube light is at the bottom. This is how a pinhole camera works. Thank you.